injury. The state says Lake Winnie did not handle property. Today, News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now live with that story. Hannah. Kim, the incident happened here on the boat chute at Lake Winnie over Memorial Day weekend. Today we found that Lake Winnie did not report it. The government is attacking its citizen with microwaves. <laughs> This YouTube video shows the ride Crystal Anthony says she was getting in when she broke her foot at Lake Winnie. When I stepped in, my foot went through the board. In pain, Anthony says she flagged down the ride attendant and asked for help. Yeah, and she still would not let me off. She told me I had to ride, well, ride the ride all the way through. Says she did in misery. These are the scratches she says she noticed after pulling her foot out of the hole. It was a sharp pain and I could not move my foot. Anthony showed us the hospital documentation she has from that day. According to state code, Lake Winnie is required to report an accident immediately by phone as well as send a written report by the end of the next business day. But tonight, the state says it didn't get either in Anthony's case. I can't move it, it's not really stiff. It still hurts. Tonight, there's also still confusion over the facts of the case News Channel 9 brought you yesterday. The state says Lake Winnie did report when a woman fell from its wild lightning ride. However, Jama Miller says she saw the whole cart come down with the woman. And they heard it and got that car out of there. And and then they tried to blow it off and Anthony says hearing about the latest injury, she feels even more strongly that the park needs renovations and she'll never go back after what happened to her. Hannah Lawrence with that story. Now we still